Hey everyone, it's Pearlescent Toys, back in today's video with another Marvel Legends action figure review and today we are looking at Iron Man Model 20 from the brand new Iron Man Retro Collection wave. Other than She-Hulk, this is probably the most sought after figure of the wave. I mean, just, I mean like, just, just look at it, wow. But I, I'm getting too ahead of myself. Let's take a look at the back of the box. With Stark Tech wreaking havoc in the wrong hands, Iron Man dons a new high-tech suit designed to fight the evils of the world. UPC? Uh, uh, Grogu, get down from there. All right, without further ado, let's open this thing up. And here he is out of the box. The Mark 20 armor would make the Mark 20 armor would make its debut in Iron Man Volume 3, issue number 50 in 2002. And it would instantly become one of his most iconic suits. It just looks so clean, so crisp. Yeah, let's just take a look at that sculpt. I think almost every part of this is brand new. I kind of wanted to say like some of it was reused from um, the extremist suit, but I'm just really finding a hard time trying to find like where these pieces come from, which leads me to believe that, you know, it's entirely brand new absolutely love that and yeah starting off with the feet you can just see so much detail already all those lines all those segments in it and then the soles of the feet themselves are <laughs> detailed out you can see like the little treads right there and then continuing up and there's oh i thought that was like a segment right there no it's just the marbleization again a lot of people will take issue with the marbleization in the plastics but i i i'm i couldn't care less <laughs> um Oh, this is really neat. This is a really neat way of hiding that pinned uh, joint right there. It's sort of showing, but it's a part of the design itself. So it like, huh, that's really, really neat. I really love that. Um, yeah, you can see like it's right here. They decided, you know, we may as well show it. And because it is like a part of the design itself, really love that. And yeah, you can see right here. On the knee pad there's some gold paint underneath which is a detail that you know <laughs> sounds like something that they would miss but like they actually went out of their way and painted that that's really great and then you continue up to the thigh i was thinking that there was like a swivel right here in the middle but there isn't yeah i thought this piece was going to be able to move but still like there's a lot of detail put in right there on this side as well yeah, you can just see like all this like cybernetic continuing up to the torso. And yeah, you can see even more of those like cybernetic details going all throughout some plating right here, overlapping each other for the abs. Then on the back, yeah, just even more. It is the marbleization is pretty apparent, but it doesn't really bother me. Um, And there's a belt going across. Yeah, just it's just like so packed with detail. And going up here you get the arc reactor and there is some shading in the corners making it a little bit darker in those areas very nice attention to detail right there and then continuing down to the arms you get some more of those pieces right there yeah it's just like i i, I can't really like put into words just how great this figure looks look at that more plating right there another one on the back uh, above the elbow too painted as well and then you continue down and it makes me wonder if like this piece was supposed to be painted in yellow as well because it is on the hand huh weird but yeah it has that classic like iron man glove right there what i mean is like you know that this big old piece surrounding the end of the glove and then having like lines going down yeah it is like the future of Iron Man designs, but it is still a very nice callback to the older designs, which I love, you know, and looking at the hands themselves. Don't know if these are reused. These could be. I may be wrong, though, but they, they look phenomenal nonetheless. And the neck, woo, look at all of that detail right there, all those lines going up the neck. And then back here, it's... Eh, not as detailed as the front, but it still looks really good. Kind of looks like the, not the vertebrae. Is that what it's called? Like the neck bones right there. That's what it kind of looks like with the muscle on the outside. And then you get those wings on the back 
very cool very early 2000s <laughs> in design and more rivets right there uh, yeah i cannot put into words just how detailed this figure is it is just it just goes above and beyond and it even continues with that head sculpt dude it looks so good one of the best iron man helmet designs like ever love how the mouth is just slightly open and you know it continues right there just a really cool design of course you get that iconic triangle up there yeah just loving this figure so far of course the ears right there yeah it just it i'm oh man man i'm just so i'm so jazzed about this for accessories he comes with two fisted hands and two repulsor blast hands two open out hands with some peg holes in the center of the palms which you are able to plug his repulsor effects into they look like these and yeah they plug in pretty snugly on this side as well yeah and they look really good my only complaint is that the pegs are a little too long usually they have like a little blast effect at the end of them but here yeah they don't so you're able to see that big long piece just sticking out and they included two more which you are able to plug at the bottom of the feet right here and yeah right here mm, yeah it looks cool and all i probably won't have him pose with these in though but just just because like that extra piece is just sticking out there and also like it it's really inhibited right here kind of wish they had done like the mcu thing where they kind of have this piece folded back it, you know what i mean but going over articulation the head is able to move up this much it is able to go down that much he has a tiny bit of pivot and some side to side movement and his arm is able to move up this far it is able to go back a really good amount it is able to go forward and a really good amount and he also has some shoulder rotation an upper bicep swivel a double jointed elbow that is able to bend in this much and he has a standard wrist hinge going up down all the way around although it is a little uh inhibited by this little back piece right here for the fist it's sort of the same he's able to go there but he can't really go back at all he's able to bend this far back and go forward this much this is something i just noticed right now he's actually using a diaphragm joint so he does have pivot right there and some side to side movement although it is not great that is made up for with the waist swivel allowing him to move side to side his leg is able to kick out this far he's able to go back to the side this much and go back this far he has an upper thigh swivel a double jointed knee that is able to bend in this much and his foot is able to move this far down this far up and he has some now onto the size comparisons here is the model 20 next to the model 1 and the model 9 count nefaria and whiplash the model 1 and model 2 model 4 and stealth model 4 the model 8 silver centurion and the model 13 modular model 37 bleeding edge and model 45 deep space model 29 extremis and model 70 model 50 and ironheart war machine and captain america giant man and hawkeye Spider-Man and Daredevil, Wolverine and Rogue, Whirlwind and Living Laser, finally we have Darwin and Morbius, Commander Gary and Spider-Ham. Alright, time for my final rating and my overall thoughts. I think I'm going to give the Model 20 here a final rating of 10 out of 10. My god, this sculpt is just absolutely stunning. It is so freaking good. It's one of the best Iron Man suits they've ever put out so far. And I just love the colors of this figure, how vibrant the red and the gold is. Something I had an issue with um, when it came to like the extremist Iron Man, it was I just felt like it was kind of dull. I know in the comics that this this suit originates from, it is like that. But I was hoping for something like this, and this figure just delivers that. My only critique for this is like the accessories are kind of they're kind of whack like it, it you could see right here it's kind of awkward making him shoot the repulsor blast just because of that piece right there making it hard to move his hand back and the repulsor pieces themselves not having that little bit at the end uh it was a big mistake because it just like highlights that big old uh peg right there 
here, I found a good example. This, this is one of the pieces that comes with the Stealth Iron Man. Yeah, it, they usually have like this end at, that you could plug in right there just to hide how long that peg is. But yeah, they didn't include it here. Really big bummer. But still, I think the articulation and for the most part and the sculpt and paint apps do this figure a huge service and make it a 10 out of 10. But yeah, that'll do it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Please like, comment, subscribe, share with a friend. Anything you can do that will support the channel will be greatly appreciated. Please click the links in the description below because I'll have a playlist to more Marvel Legends reviews as well as my Instagram account. I take pictures. And it, it, it's cool. Just follow it. Um, Yeah, but with that, I will see you in the next one. Mm -hmm. Bye. Model 29 Extremis, and finally we have Darwin.